Lenore is bouncing back from the recession by reinventing itself. The city is leaning into its deep artistic and musical roots and rebranding itself as a destination. I wanted to see how downtown Lenore is attracting new businesses and promoting its artists. So I met with Charlie Fry, Lenore native and owner of Folk Keeper Gallery and Antiques. Well, when I was a kid, this was really and truly a, a hub of industry. Uh, we were really well known for the furniture industry, which is still present in Lenore, but um, I mean, it really, it drove our economy for decades. One way that I have thought about Lenore since I started being in downtown since 2008 is that we're, you know, we're really a department store. Everybody's into going one place and getting everything you need. But we have food and we have entertainment and we have, uh, we have a bookstore and we have several antique stores and then our shop that uh, has antiques and art and everything else. And, you know, we've got to look at each other as, a team and you know the citizens and, and everybody else sort of as, um, as part of the team too and our town really does a good job with that. I paint a lot of birds, they really represent um, sort of freedom to me, um, paint our mountains, um, we paint home. Downtown Lenore also has more than 80 pieces of public art lining its streets in a concept called Tucker's Gallery. Sculptor Suzette Bradshaw helped start the outdoor gallery. It has been a big draw because we can advertise and talk about market sculptures in downtown Lenore and people can come down and see a concentrated number of sculptures in a small area. So it's kind of become a destination. There are tons of artists that live here, musicians, poets, painters, sculptors, and um, it's a great tight-knit community. Lenore is recognized for its vibrant art but it's also becoming known for downtown living and a tattoo festival. The mayor of Lenore, Joe Gibbons, explained how the city embraced change in order to grow. Uh, one of our awards this year with the Main Street uh, Conference was our downtown branding. Downtown Lenore, together we create, and that's sort of our, our theme behind what we're trying to do in our, our community is together we can create good things. Uh, we kind of were the state champion of Main Street. We, uh, we won the most awards of any city. Uh, some of our festivals that we do, this one happened to be for the Tattoo Gathering, which is a, a uh, very unique event that we have here in, in Lenore in, in September. You did downtown. not get a tattoo, is that right? I did not get a tattoo, okay. no, <laughs> I did not. So good things are happening in our community. So that's, uh, that's sort of a rallying thing that we use for our downtown is to have a great brand. I think we just found your tattoo. You found my tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> One of the mayor's favorite restaurants is Piccolo's, which serves Chicago-style deep-dish pizza. The family-owned business runs three locations, two of which are actually in Chicago. As a pizza aficionado, I absolutely had to check out this spot. We bought this building in 2000, and there wasn't a whole lot downtown Lenore. Not a whole lot at all. So it. It, it's changed an awful lot. It didn't used to be this busy, and it's, I think it's getting busier every day. Here, can you tell me about some of this great memorabilia? I see bears signs and cubs hats. And, yeah. yeah. Um, Where'd you get all this stuff? It, everywhere. And personally, I don't, I don't get it. I just call it his junk. And so this is all your husband's fault? Yes. Oh, okay. The, everything is his fault. In addition to a variety of dining, Lenore also has literature, and it's affordable. Every single book at Tybrisa Books is only one dollar. We try to make it so that everybody can afford to come in here and, and pick out a book. Oddly enough, we didn't spend a lot of time in downtown Lenore before we, um, before we opened the store and once we got down here we discovered how much there is actually going on um, in downtown Lenore and we know now there's no place we'd rather be. Strolling through downtown Lenore, it's possible to be serenaded. Bob Henson, a musician who works with these young pickers shared how Lenore is preserving its musical heritage. We're listening to Blackberry Jam, uh, which is part of Caldwell Jam. And Jam is Junior Appalachian Musicians. It's a program that teaches traditional Appalachian music and traditions, bluegrass and old time music, to young people so that the tradition is passed on to the next generation. They are a very amazing group of kids. They name themselves and they perform out. They do gigs and, and make money and have a really good time. I got thirsty, 
So I headed to the Side Street Poorhouse and Grill, which has the largest draft craft beer selection in the area. The restaurant has 44 taps and was once a movie theater. This kind of environment's what we wanted to be in, involved in. And Lenore, downtown Lenore died off for years. When I was a little kid, Lenore downtown was a booming place. But Lenore downtown itself is reviving. And uh, in the last two or three years, there's been a, you know, a big increase. We've still got a few empty storefronts and there's new things coming to town now that, uh, you know, in development. Um, it's a good place to be. We get a lot of people coming here from upstate South Carolina and out of the Charlotte area that are heading up to the high country, boom, blowing rock, and they have learned that we're here and they stop here because we have something a little different. Another unique option for eating in Lenore is Cat Sandwich Company. Its menu includes gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan choices. It seems that when I walked in here, it reminded me of like Cheers, but a sandwich shop. So can you tell me about the sense of community, how you developed that in the restaurant? They did. Like, we didn't develop that. That's the thing. It's like, when I moved from Florida to here, it was completely different because Lenore is just, it's so cool. It's so welcoming. And it's so fun. It's so weird to me because everyone always says, why did you choose Lenore? It's like the going saying. But I don't know. Lenore is just amazing, especially if you have, um, I have two boys. And so, and everyone's community based. Like everyone here, we, you know, Brian and Sunny, and everyone kind of just comes together. And my little booger head over there, you can come over here. He's six going on 35. But like everyone just helps out, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's the best community you could live in ever. A perfect way to cap off my afternoon in Lenore is with a drink at Liquid Roots Brewing Project. The family-owned business serves beer, wine, cider, and coffee. The owners moved from Indiana to start the brewery. Can you tell me about some of those awesome things that drew you to Lenore? Um, just seeing a lot of good forward momentum. I mean, I think there's a lot just with the proximity to other big cities, with Charlotte and Asheville being about an hour, hour and a half away, um, Boone being very, very close proximity, and then just uh, being close to the parkway and the mountains and everything like that. I know that draws us, and then just getting to know a lot of the people here through a few visits leading up to us actually purchasing the building. Uh, gave us a lot of confidence in being able to uh, do what we wanted to do. Um, this has been about five years in the works, so right. just been waiting for the right opportunity, and this was it. And bringing people together, having fun, uh, that's what we enjoy doing, and we hope to uh, share that with other people as well. Lenore is experimenting with second floor living. Charlie Fry showed me his special bird's eye view of downtown. Uh, we're really just pulling it all together to where we're a place to go. For more information about things to do in downtown Lenore, go to downtownlenorenc.com.